entertainment of this. Okay, drawn, came on, drawn by agreement. Why did they draw? I said it was a fair fight because it was only a piece advantage. Well, White was very generous. <laughs> uh, he has checkmate on the move, it appears. Well, uh, what can I say? Children have hearts. I don't want to beat you. You can have a draw. Okay, let's look at the game. See, the, the key is to keep your pieces safe. But, you know, White's strategy is... What, what? Well, I lost the game. Well, what can I say? Uh, sorry. Okay. Well, we know what happened. White gave up a draw. Let's go into the... list of games here. <clears throat> okay. Now you learn from experience. You know, I remember when I was around 8th grade, I was playing some 7th and 6th graders chess. They, they didn't know anything. Uh, I'd open e4, e5, not bishop c4, they'd play bishop c5. I'd play queen h5 and they wouldn't see the mate threat. So I checkmate them on F7. And if I was lucky, I could do it a second or third time. But then they started thinking. They need to defend that F7 square. So they bring the queen out to F6. And if I wasn't careful, they would take on F2. F, uh, so, you know, they, they learn from experience. So, you know, you have, you have children here that are, that are learning the game and and they're playing. That's the most important thing. Okay. I think we watch swimming. Well, let's look at Carefree Gear and Meme Maker. Let's see what they're doing. Okay. Okay, looks like uh, Black's got some space here. Uh, okay, White just pitches a knight, I mean a bishop. He takes it. So he sees the unprotected piece. Now, G2 is not safe, so logically White should castle here. He's only down a piece. <clears throat> um, Knight plays Bishop D2. He doesn't want that pawn. He doesn't want his king to safety. So. Black doesn't want that pawn on G2. Can <coughs> um, <coughs> I probably take on D3 with this bishop? No, I can't castle. Okay, so you didn't want the pawn on G2. Hmm. Asking for trouble. Black can play something like E6 or E5 and threaten to check checkmate. He didn't see it. He wants to give a fork. He knows he understands forks. Um, but e5 for the mate in one. That stopped the mate. Now he's got a fork on c2. I would think. Yep. So you know the kids they're finding good moves. I mean it was it was good to, to do the fork, but e5 was stronger threat and mate. I see that. Can we expect them to see that? The answer is most likely no. But you see, you see how I see this. I, I saw the pattern. You know, let's put, let's put this back on the square a second. See, if 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 there's a queen on h4, the king has no place to go. It's mate. Okay, so e5. You know, white may say, "Oh, free pawn." Pawn takes, and then he loses. So you know, we want to. You know, we want to expand our thinking. Now, Black has a completely winning game. He's had, what, a rook and uh, and two minor pieces. Uh, I would think that Black is probably strong enough to win this, uh, particularly with his rating 577, uh, compared to 353. Uh, 
White is in White's in a bit of trouble. But you know, black is not developing his pieces too well. There's a free pawn on b2. Uh, his knight on and bishop on the back rank should get in the game. Um, What can, what can we do now with uh, what can we do now with white? Well, let's get some pieces developed. Maybe something like bishop c3, hit that rook in the corner, make uh, black figure out he needs to take some action. Then white may have something in g5. Well, he doesn't see it. Well, that, that bishop wasn't under attack. I don't know why he retrieved it. Why don't you try something like f5 and then bishop c3? Oh, no, no, no I'll delay f5. Let's play bishop c3. Nope. Knight takes a knight. Now white needs to take it. Will he see it? No white will pick up that knight in the corner. Or he should. But just from watching a few of these games, we can almost say we don't know what white's going to come up with. We can determine what white should do with a Fair degree of certainty. But can we be sure white is going to do just that? Alright, he took it, now the knights in honor. So white's starting his comeback. Uh, black can play knight b3 and try to get a pawn for the knight. Or he can just develop something and actually bishop to g7. The rook backs up and bishop takes b2, protects the knight in the corner. So you see there's a tactic. A defensive tactic. And we always try to solve these positions. Whether they solve them or not remains to be seen. We'll watch you play bishop g7 here. Attack that rook. So even though Black's winning, uh, one of his problems against a tougher opponent is is Black isn't developing. Okay, and if he doesn't develop against a stronger player, he's going to get run over. How do we get the starting position? I guess why it resigned. I don't know. Maybe give us a, a warning. Oh well. Okay, we've got the, uh, what do they call this? The uh, England Gambit. We're calling it the Black Mardemer Gambit. It's not correctly uh, Black Mardemer. Yeah, usually it comes with 9c3, 9f6, then e4. Or is the England Gambit? Uh, D4, E5. I don't know. Does that make me any, any worse? Than, I don't know. <laughs> okay, so now it's it's almost like an out all counter gambit with colors reversed. Oh my goodness, what are these guys doing? Why'd you play? Take the queen with check. Oh no! Oh, he couldn't take the queen. He was in check, but he moves his king. Uh -huh. Now they don't understand that they can take with something else. Okay, so what's Black needs to take that? That pawn. he doesn't want to save his queen. Okay, well, just pawn takes queen equals queen. Black could have even played pawn takes bishop promote tonight. Check. He didn't. <clears throat> Okay, so, oh, 
Jesus I wants to save the no, I want to save the queen. Okay, this is this is beyond bizarre. <laughs> Look at the white spawns on the seventh rank. He's riding a mate with them. White one. Yep, he got it. Amazing, huh? Amazing. Okay. Wow. <laughs> uh, just just utterly amazing. All been countered. Damn it. Colors reversed. Now, both sides start advancing their pawns. And he doesn't take it. Now, black can play pawn, takes bishop, promote to a knight. And then queen takes c7, black is winning. Instead, he hangs his queen. White can play pawn, takes d8, queen. And then take the pawn on d2. Okay, he doesn't want that. Both sides are shoving pawns. Amazing. Now, black needs to play... What does black need to play? Queen takes either one of those pawns. Or we'll go back to my idea. Uh, pawn takes bishop, promote to knight, check. Do that. Instead he shows another pawn. Black says, if you can get two pawns on the seventh, so can I. Okay, game over. Either, either pawn taking on d8, promoting to a queen was a checkmate. So what can I say? Uh, you know, I've looked, in the beginning I was looking at one of the higher rated games, and the kids play a reasonable game there, and we can see that with the adults. Uh, and we're trying to, we're trying to look at something a little, uh, a little more erratic, so to speak, where every move there's a tactic. We get to practice our tactics looking for them. Okay, let's see who's playing, so. Come down here, look at the lower readings. Faded Kitten and Carefree Gear. Okay. Faded Kitten's about 200 points higher rated. Okay, look at this. Huh. Strange opening, huh? <laughs> okay, both sides have lost kingside casting privileges. And opening up a vulnerable diagonal. Okay, if either side would develop their pieces, they would have a chance here. Okay, hangs a bishop. He saw it enough, smart enough to take it. So black is down two pieces. He's lost and managed to lose his bishop and his knight. And his rook's in trouble. Now, we, we can expect white to do better because he's got, he or she has a higher, rate, higher rating. Uh, although, you know, if white's not careful, you know, if that black queen finds its way to g3 or h4, you know, that, that could end up being a checkmate here. It, it, he can't set it up now because the rook is covering h4, but... Okay, so... Attacks the rook, protects the knight. He didn't see it was protected. Now white should take... Oh, he missed it. Oh, my goodness. Okay. So, again, fair fight. Uh, anybody's game. Uh, they're playing a 10 minute time control, I have a feeling this game will not be decided by, by time. Uh, let's see. Let's trade rooks. Well, you're forcing, you're, by doing that, you're forcing black to develop something. Oh no, he didn't want to trade. <laughs> if he traded, then black would have to develop a piece. Okay, so... He's talking about mate threats. If white can get a, a queen to h1 or h8, I'm too late now. Huh? He, he wants to trade rooks. Are you going to hide your rook away? Are you going to hide that rook or are you going to let white checkmate you? No, you're going to give up your rook and your queen. Okay. Rook takes queen check. I mean, rook takes rook check. Oh, he doesn't want it. Oh, my goodness. Well. <laughs> Now they're learning. So what? Ooh, queen h5 check. White suddenly has a counterattack. Another bench the fact you can just win a queen with rook takes rook check. Uh, queen h5 check. Well, it, my suspicion is it'll lead to mate. Now black, black can trade queens to soften the blow. White missed queen h5 check. He missed rook takes g8 check. He would rather threaten that pawn on e5. So... Now he's got a fork. 
can win the bishop on uh, f5. <coughs> and what will be two pieces ahead again? Let's say, let's take the rook with check, the bishop with check. He missed the queen was free. Uh, queen takes d8. You know, he, he sees the bishop. That's what his mind is saying. He doesn't see anything else now. Oh gosh, this is so close to something. But we can't get the queen on the long diagonal. Okay. Now, I don't know why, why he didn't take the queen. It was free. And at least he saved his queen, but he couldn't grab the bishop. His bank rate would have been vulnerable, but White's not showing he knows how to go to the back rank, especially when there's a free piece. Oh, there goes the queen. <laughs> okay, it's turning into, uh, you know, White should find a way to get a checkmate here shortly. Uh, King E2, I guess his idea is to, to slide the queen over laterally. Oh, you got to get that check first. Okay, let, let's, let's let you win my queen. Oh, no, you can't win the queen because bishop takes. And he misses. Bishop takes d8. And he misses. Rook takes d1, although he wouldn't have much material left. Uh, knight f3 is double check. Knight b3 is double check. He wants to discover check instead. Now, I can play bishop takes d8. I can just give up his queen. And he doesn't want the queen. He likes that check. <laughs> okay, well. Like I say, they're playing chess. That's what counts. But the problem is that that rook and knight aren't going to be by themselves. But the queen is sitting there for the taking. You need to take it. If you don't take it, he's going to see it and take you. So who's going to take who? Uh, they want the queen. Now bishop f6 should be a maiden too. Nope. Bishop f6 worked g7, queen d8 was mate. Okay. White's doing his best to lose this game. Or not to win this game. Free knight. Okay, black's managed to lose most of his pieces. He's down to a rook and a bunch of pawns. Here, come take my rook. Now it should be a quick mate if you play queen d1 check after this. Or queen d8 check, I mean king f7, queen e7 check, and no matter where the black king goes, queen g7 will be mate. I missed uh, queen d8 check. I don't know, let's see how c4 helps him, but... Now king f5 would have been strong, keep the bishop... Uh, strong there. So, you know, c4 doesn't help, or c5 doesn't help white. And that stop, says to white, well, go move a piece now. I'm going to stop you moving your pawns. Okay, when is white going to learn to use his queen and get that rook into play with a quick checkmate? So, you're in check. you got to grab that pawn or move your king up to f5. Well, king f5, if you could not take the pawn, f5 would have led to a quick mate. Now the black king is going to get out. That doesn't help you. b3 doesn't help white. Okay. Now he's already developed his knight. Now the rook is almost free. He'll probably save his knight. Yep. And look at that, he's managed to shut all the pawns down, except for the one on h5. Now he's giving up his bishop, but he quite can afford to give that up. Queen d6 check would be a good start here. 
Nobody wants to check with them, right? Uh, okay, so you're not going to check mate with a knight. You need your queen and your rook. Or, at the very least, your queen and your king. You might do it with the queen and the knight. But, uh, he wanted to take that knight. Okay, he did. Now, queen d6 check. I'm not going to go that way. Okay, that didn't, you could have checked on e2 if you're going to go that way. That would have freed your rook. Okay, now, now I steal a pawn. Steal another pawn. And maybe white, no, white knows to bring his king up. Maybe he's re recognizes some checkmating patterns. Oh yeah, my king and queen can mate him. Now queen e6 check. Okay, well that, this will be lead to mate, but you're not getting there the quickest way. Now king f6. Bottle that king in. Okay, I don't know how b4 helps you. But it's your game. Okay, now we can... <laughs> Both sides are pushing their pass pawns. Might as well push them black. White may blunder. Make a queen. Yes. Now, black has a queen to tinker with. But white stole it. Okay, now white should be able to find a mate here. Get a second queen and just have to watch out for stalemate. Maybe black is going to let his time run out here. Uh, usually would have moved by now. I hope he doesn't uh, just abandon the game. You know, make make white prove he can check me. <coughs> white should probably have a mate in three in this position, no matter what black does. <laughs> Okay, he's going to keep playing. Okay, now, there goes the rook. Now, queen h7 is mate. Oh, that didn't do it. Queen h7, queen from h1 to h7 is mate. That doesn't do it. Okay, uh, that's still mate. No, it isn't. Queen, almost. No. Now, if you pull with the pawn, it's not still mate. King goes back to d7. Why's well, got too much power here? Time to start checking. There, he did it. Okay. So, you know, not the best game, but, you know, I mean, this, this opening is just bizarre. You know, they're copying each other. But he, he throws away a, a knight. And he throws away a bishop. And throws away his rook, but white doesn't want it. You know, just bishop takes f4. White's up, uh, uh, what, a rook and a, and a uh, knight and a bishop. <laughs> no, no, just no, we're looking at Bishop. He, he lost his knight. Okay, so it's a fight. You know, Black's laid down a piece. Uh, he doesn't want to trade. Now, here, just Rook takes. Rook takes d8. King takes. Uh, Rook takes queen. King takes queen. Bishop g5 check. King to e8. And. Followed by queen f3, queen f6, and we'll probably get a mate here really quick. But both sides are insisted upon uh, not finding the right moves. Now he got a fork, got the bishop. Now he's up uh, a rook and two bishops. And, and, but he had the uh, he had the queen here, see? You know, the king went there, he can just play queen takes d8. And so, let's see, we want to get a bishop on the a1, uh, h8 diagonal, uh, maybe bishop d2, the idea is bishop check on c3, if the rook blocks, queen takes d8 as mate, but he doesn't want that. Now, here black hangs his queen, white doesn't take it. Well, no, he didn't hang his queen. I apologize. He didn't. He just didn't take the g5 bishop. But uh, why would be? You know, it'd still be much better. He'd be up a. He'd still be up a piece. 
uh, see queen takes black white can force a winning ending no queen d8 blunders okay okay queen d4 check forces black to play queen g7 and just trade into a winning ending uh, by the way now here he decides to throw his bishop away and black doesn't take it so you know, all he has to do is play queen takes bishop check and black's only down a bishop it's still a fight. Uh, he even has a pawn for it. But now he drops his queen. And now he drops his queen. He doesn't want it. He wants to check with that knight. <laughs> and uh, white doesn't want the knight. Now he takes it. And he gives him the rook. So here, king, uh, queen, queen d8 check. King f7, only move. Queen e7 check, and he has two choices. He can go to g6 or g8, and both of them allow queen g7 mate, game over. So, you know, it's good to be able to see mates in one. You never know when you'll have a mate in one in your game, and you'll be low on time. So, you you know, you want to be able to see that. Here he coughs up his bishop. And, you know, suddenly, uh, Suddenly, uh, White has to make sure he doesn't administer a stalemate. Now here, Queen H7 is mate right on the move. Now Black has to go that way, and Queen H H1 to H7 is mate on the move. Okay. Now, once again, Queen on H1 to H7 is mate on the move. Queen H1 to H7 is mate on the move. Queen H1 to H7 is mate on the move. You know now. White's got too much power, but if, if White's not careful, like if White plays uh, Queen on A8 to B8, uh, it, it becomes a stalemate. And, you know, I've seen it happen. You know, White has too much power. Uh, looks like White has more than one mate here in one. Queen from H1 takes C6 is mate. Queen from A8 takes C6 is mate. Uh, Queen from h1 to h7 is still mate. Rook from f1 to d1 is not mate. But well, white found that mate, and, and apparently he also has queen b7 mate. So white had a whole bunch of mates. Uh, probably some I missed. Let's see. This queen can mate on c8, d8, b7, a7, and c6. So one, two, Three, four, there's five mates with that. This is a mate. Rook queen uh, h1 to h7, that's six mates. Queen takes c6 is mate. Uh, queen to f7 is mate. Queen here, about ten different mates in one. The, the queen on g8 goes back to the seventh rank. There's a whole lot of mates. And you know, you. you it, it's just good practice. It's good. It's good thinking this stuff. So, you know, this is my first attempt at chess kids. I don't know exactly uh, uh, where I'm going with this. Uh, you know, the, the the kids on the higher boards play a, play a more reasonable game, and and then usually uh, one will make a slip, and you know, not you know they'll they'll hang a piece like uh, like we see uh, every fifth move in, in one of these lower boards. Well, maybe, maybe it's a little more frequent than that. I haven't, I haven't kept stats. But, uh, you know, like I say, they're learning. They're playing. Uh, they'll keep coming back. They'll keep playing. They'll keep learning. Do, do you know children? Your kids, your brothers and sisters' kids, if you're lucky enough to be a grandparent, your grandchildren, um, you know, Get them on chess, kid. Get them to play chess. Okay? So let's see. We have about three minutes on the time. Let me go back to the play. I'll stop. Well, I was lucky going here. Okay, play fast. Uh, I don't have time to look at a whole game. I go off the line at four. Okay, here we have a 
high rated game. Well, that's not as high as I thought. I thought it said 16, 16, 69 by mistake. And, but we'll look at it anyway. It's the highest rated game. We'll look at this for a minute or two. Okay, what kind of time control they're playing? Looks like five minute chess. Uh, okay, white has a weakness on c4. Uh, black is getting his pieces out. Uh, looks to be an even game. Okay, not much there. Let's 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 switch back over to uh, let's see what's on this site. Okay, play slow. This is correspondence chess. Games take several days. So let's see. There are no games to play. Start a game with your friends. Okay. Maybe it's not going to let me. Uh, maybe it's not going to let me look at the games in progress. Okay, I guess it isn't. Let's take a look at their leaderboard. Okay. No results found. Okay. All time. Last seven days. Last thirty days. There's no results found. Slow chess. Let's look at that. I think this, I think this is. This is a group. I'm in. You know, I'm a moderator at Chess.com TV. I'm a moderator at uh, Chess. Kid.com TV. How about that, huh? Okay. Uh, let's see. You know, I, I use my 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 uh, broadcast software. Fortunately, lets me create my own web page from within it, but I don't have the standard uh, uh, back arrows that you would in a normal browser. So I'm, I'm not sure how to. How to get from one to the other here? Okay, I, I can't really go back. I kind of have to bounce around a little bit. But you know, we've we've hit the you know the four o'clock mark. Hey, look at that, huh? I'm a magician, and I've been on the site for close to five and a half years. So. I want to thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little feature on chesskid.com. Uh, you know, certainly, we, we get a lot of, as I pointed out, we have a lot of puzzles to solve. White to play and win. Next turn, it's black to play and win. Now it's white to play and win. And sometimes the kids solve it. Sometimes they don't. But guess what? They keep playing, they will solve it. Anyway, I thank all of you for watching. And we'll be back on uh, in a couple hours. Uh, and... Uh, you guys take care.